the space belongs to Edward Pond, who's a client of ours, who's a food photographer and filmmaker. And this was his commercial studio for 10 years. Yeah, it was, a, it was really a blank canvas when we got our hands on it. It was totally white, most of the walls weren't here. It was a working photography studio. One of the things that Natalie and I do best is we have complementary styles, so this was perfect. He likes bright colors. He's very mid-century modern, which is a style that you really that like. That I like. And I think they just really wanted some help transforming the space from this white box into a warm, cozy space for them to live in. Some of the cabinets were existing. There were actually more cabinets that we removed. We added the island. They cook a lot. They prepare a lot of food. We changed the backsplash on the kitchen just to sort of update and make it look more like a residential kitchen, not sort of a service functional kitchen. One of the features, and I think it's Edward's favorite thing, he loves the storage cabinet that we added in the kitchen area, so it's an old antique. It was yellow, wasn't it? I it believe was it was yellow. yellow. It's a Mennonite piece from one of our suppliers in the country. You know, it was sort of found in the back of a barn, and it was restored and painted sort of a dark blue-black. The kitchen table is something that we source. That's a vintage piece, and we recovered the chairs. The light, sort of interesting trying to hang the three fixtures because it's, again, working with a 14-foot ceiling. You can't just put a regular fixture. You need and to be able to... important yeah. here because it can be really dark and you want it to be warm and inviting and I think we got it right. It's huge loft space but not a lot of living room space, so a sectional made lots of sense with this fantastic carpet that we've done before in simple colors. We came up with this idea, not sure how. Oh, the chair. I think sometimes the smallest things inspire you. Pitched it to him, made a sample, and he was like, yes! So that became the starting point, I think, and then we built around it and Heidi Earnshaw's beautiful cabinet that Edward is so pleased with. Behind the rad cover is a great big, not very attractive sort of industrial rad. We wanted to hide that. We didn't want that to sort of be a big feature in the space. But it had to breathe too because it's the source of heat and it had to be beautiful but completely functional. And also we thought that that long linear counter would really unify the space. It provides a spot for all of the gardening that's going on right now here. We wanted some vertical storage, just again to deal with the height, the high ceiling. So it was creating display and also a functional rad cover to hide the heat source. So this mysterious stage-like curtained area is the lift. Edward uses it all the time, every day, all day, for everything from his bike to groceries to everything. But we had to disguise it a bit because it's a wind tunnel in the winter. We did these heavily padded, almost... Like a theater curtain theater is curtains. what we were going for. Yeah. A very heavy weighted curtain. You know, it's impossible to hide the elevator, but we had to come up with a nice way to camouflage it. Now it's kind it. of like, ta-da! And he does this beautiful sort of escape when he leaves. You know, he can climb in the elevator and then close the curtains behind him and do a magical <laughs> retreat into the, the ether. It was a big cavernous space mm -hmm. with concrete floors. Everything felt hard. And daunting to start with. As soon as you soften it up with texture and carpets, it's a warm, cozy place. I just said to Edward today, do not sell this place. Like, if you're selling this place, mm -hmm. yeah. we're buying it. We're buying it. <laughs> Don't list it. We'd be so happy here. Our, <laughs> just together. Our families could visit, <laughs> but we'd be so happy here. <laughs>